Como sa va YouTube? Danny here with Cajun Hydroponics. But look out. Oh, that light's messing me up. Um, we in the tank house. We got a lot of work done. Short of two junction box caps and straightening up some wire. I think we're ready to give it a shot. So let's see what we got. Right here, right there, we installed the new pump. That is the freshwater pump. Sucks the water off of the freshwater tanks. Pow! Each one of these mixing tanks has its own valve. So it pushes it straight over there. And you can see, wow, boy, we got light. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we got light. The, uh, let's, got us a mixing tote. Let's back up a little bit. Got us a mixing tub. <clears throat> this is the fill line to fill it up with fresh water. This is the pump line after we mix it to mix it and uh, push it into the tanks over there. So we're not going to be hauling many five-gallon buckets anymore. And then we have the mixer. We did some Cajun. I sat down with a crayon and a dry erase board and I figured all this out. So it's engineered correctly. Not really. But um, on the bottom of the tote, we put a bulkhead fitting. Um, had to heat it with the heat gun and push it down for it to move most of the water that way. You can see it still holds a little bit, but not much at all. Then we have a drain to drain it off. Whatever this pump doesn't pick up, we drain it into the bucket, dump it into the tote. Then we kick this pump on. Flush it with fresh water to make sure we get all the chemical in or the, all the solution into the totes and we flip the pumps on over there. You can see fresh water transfer, fertilizer pump, mixer, fresh water. Fresh water is the small one. That's the one that fills up in here. Breaker box. Payable. I like my breakers and switches. We hooked up the uh the timer we also have the plugs underneath to use if we need and then we have light switch one two and three each one of those switches will run the pump for tank one two and three at this point i'm not sure if we can run all three off of the timer or not um we're going to be checking it out seeing how it works out um but let's get to mixing Okay, so one other thing I forgot. Oh my, this phone is just blowing up. One other thing I forgot. We put a plug down here at the bottom so that the fertilizer, when we put it in here and start mixing, the granulated fertilizer doesn't get stuck or all work its way into here. So we put the plug down there, push it down, and it's pretty much easy to go. So at this point, we're going to open the valve. And we will turn on the freshwater pump. Each thing has its own name, so it's distinct. Um, I put 15 gallons of water in here the other day, and the 15 gallons is just below this nozzle. So that gives us an idea of the 15 to 18 gallons it would probably take. Uh, that's what I like to use to mix the fertilizer in with the large batches that we make over here for the 250 gallons. Or 275 or whatever it comes out to be it, it's not an exact science so we, we do what we do and it works it's a little slow process but we didn't want it to go fast I could have run another pipe off of here and just put it back in here but man it that pushes way more water than I wanted I might end up doing that just not to have an extra pump um, it's not that difficult to add, but I like the way it's set up right here right now. While this is going on, we will go ahead and grab the three scoops of nitrogen. Hang tight. One. Two, three. 
and I'm sure you've seen in the cup from the last batch I mixed it's so humid out here the humidity gets in these plastic buckets and uh, makes moisture and it sticks so just, that's what we're keeping an eye on here's a tip <clears throat> it's hot and while it's hot I want to hydrate uh, I'm sure you've been watching the price of everything uh, price of a 12 pack of coke is awfully high right now um, we stocked up on sugar a while back and went back to some old school stuff my grandma used to make we've been drinking some root beer oh, I've been drinking some root beer and man I feel so much better drinking that as opposed to drinking coke getting started you never know when it's gonna be a, a permanent thing I'm not I'm not a fan of paying more than three dollars a 12 pack of coke okay so we're back again the water is about where we want it go ahead and turn off fresh water here gurgling it's falling back into the tote um, one thing we put the ball valve right here because when the tank's full to the top, it'll continue to gravity feed. So I'll put the ball valve right here to stop it. Uh, had to go back to the store about 19 times to make sure everything was right. Uh, watch, I'm going to turn the mix on and we'll show you how it does. Does a really good job when it's full. So I'm going to turn it back on. And we're gonna start adding the uh, the fertilizer solution to it. That's the I like to let it go for about five minutes, but while it's going right here I'm gonna go ahead and add in the Epsom salt. I always put in the calcium nitrate first Let it turn then I put the Epsom salt and then I'll let it go for about three more minutes four more minutes <laughs> a master blend. <laughs>
we need to make sure is that the valve on the bottom down here is closed because we don't want to back up fertilizer into the freshwater tanks. Then we will open this valve right here. You can hear the water backing up. There's fresh water up in the line that goes across the top. And then we will turn on the fertilizer pump. Clean the sides. You can see it don't take long. Just like that, it's empty. Herp and shut the valve so it don't back feed back. Now, pull the stopper, open the valve. A lot of that grit on the bottom is built up off of the pump. I'm gonna have to heat it some more, it looks like. Yep, gonna heat it some more, pull it down some more. Like I said, I'm not worried about that stuff on the bottom. That's from the uh, pump. You can see all the grit on it. It's coming off the last couple times I tried to use it. I took that one out of one of my tanks. I'm waiting for the other one to come in. That was a mixing uh, pump in one of the 250-gallon fertilizer tanks. But anyway, kind of get the gist of this. It's going to drain into here, drain into here, and then we're going to go dump it into the tank that we were using Let's see at this point we need to flush it with fresh water so we're going to take the pump on open it up and it's pumping into here When it gets where we want it, which is going to be just about at the bottom of that, we just go shut it off and shut the valve. Turn on the circulating pumps and be done. I can only turn on one circulating pump because I don't have one in the number three tank right now. And we'll call that good by the time we walk over there. And that flushes all the chemical that was in the line. That flushes that line out. What we're gonna do moving forward what we're gonna do moving forward is do the chemical first put it in the totes oops we're gonna do the chemical first the fertilizer first put it in the totes and then turn around and fill it that way we make sure we get all of it out uh, i had hooked up the other pump previously Ugh, i had hooked it up uh let's see We'll flip the switch and get that circulating, that tank. See? Tank two, turn it on. Switch right here, push it down, and it's working. Rolling it over. Probably went a little bit high, but it'll work out. It'll keep that in solution. We got it running three times a day, 15 minutes a time. Uh, it turns on um, 5.30, 11.30, and like 5.30, something like that. Just in the tanks that we're using. Since I did the big pruning, the uh, tanks have lasted a lot longer. Way, way longer than, than it was before. So 
happy about that. That tank that I just showed you has been almost five days. So that's the new additions to the tank barn, making it easier. And I'm sure we're going to figure out a few more things we might need or might want. I'm thinking about putting in a sink right here, put a single basin sink right here with water from the, the town or the house to where I can uh, wash hands or, or wash, you know, whatever we need to do wash uh, vegetables and stuff like that I think that'd be a good spot for it um, so that's it y'all pretty cool um, very happy with the way it turned out uh, ease of use with it takes about 20 minutes to mix a batch which is almost the same as it was before but in that 20 minutes you're able to go do other things I just picked about 20 pounds of tomatoes while that was going on so anyway, South Louisiana, boy, you got to love it. We got some Cajun Nation innovation over here at Cajun Hydroponics. I almost said growing grass, but oh, man, I want that growing grass hobby farms back so bad. South Louisiana, boy, you got to love it. Y'all grow that later.